Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today's state is Manipur and in this discussion, we will look at seat matrix, eligibility criteria and the entire counselling process. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Manipur. As you can see, there are four colleges with 525 seats in them. Take a look at the map and have a better understanding of the distribution of the colleges throughout this state. Then you have the BDS seat matrix. There are two colleges with 100 seats. Again, take a look at the map and have an idea how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the combined list of MBBS and BDS colleges. Please note the names, locations and the number of seats in them. Let's talk about the 2023 MBBS cutoff of the government colleges. This was for general, SC, ST and OBC. Now we will talk about the different quota categories of the Manipur colleges. The government colleges offer 85% seats under state quota and 15% under All India quota. The private colleges offer a portion of their seats under institutional or management quota. Now, if we talk about the fees, in government colleges, you pay 8,000 to 20,000 per annum approximately. In the private colleges, you pay 20,000 to 30,000 per annum approximately. Now, let's talk about the counselling process. It starts with online registration. The link to the website has been given then declaration of merit list, then online choice filling, allotment of seats and at the end you report at the allotted college. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria. For the 85% state quota seats, candidates must have the domicile certificate of Manipur. But remember, this is an open state, so students from other states and UTs can also take admission in this state through management or institutional quota in the private colleges. Now, here you have the list of documents required for the counselling. First, academic eligibility mark sheets and certificates, NEET UG admit card and mark sheet, domicile certificate if applicable, caste certificate if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proof and then minority certificate if applicable. You may also need to submit more documents according to the eligibility norms. Now, let's talk about scholarship under post matrix scholarship scheme given to whom given to sc st bc ebc kapu minority pwd candidates what is the requirement the total family annual income is to be less than or equal to 2 lakh rupees please visit this website for more information on the same now is there service bond in manipur there is no service bond in manipur we have come to the end of this video Hope you understood the counselling process of Manipur. Thank you for watching.